4 March 2019, a day of impatience. This is the 19 years old female red ear slider. Okay, the complaint was that uh, she was not eating and had swollen flanks. The skin on the flanks in front of the hind leg is swollen. Let me show you. We just show, demonstrate uh, the finger. My, my assistant will put the finger there. Uh, that part was swollen, like, like bloated like that. Now, now it's not swollen. No, uh, I know people. Not... Uh, not... Okay, let me see. Like, uh... Okay, let's see. The other side, turn, turn, turn. Uh... Okay, the other side. Yeah, it's still, it's still swollen. Actually, it's loose skin. Uh. But there was some hard lump inside earlier on when it came in and it was painful. The red ear slider turned the head backwards, wanted to bite me when I pushed in. But now today you can see it doesn't bother her. Uh, she has lost a lot of weight actually. Uh. Okay. Now we'll put her down again. Now we can see today is day 8 of inpatient. She has passed 2 finally. She passed 2 on the day, day 2 and day 8. Now what is the cause of this? Loss of appetite, we check the x-ray, come. We see the x-ray. This red ear slider lays eggs twice a... Uh, cannot see. Uh, I can see. Twice a... Uh, twice a uh, year. So it laid eggs about three months ago. And but actually sure there are no eggs, but the whole abdomen is radio dense. See the side view? The side view is here. Uh, you can see it's really radio dense as if it, it is filled with some calcium exudates or deposits. Okay, so now we are trying to to uh, give laxative to get, get the red ear slider to pass out whatever has been stuck inside the intestines. It could be eggshells impaction of the egg shell because when she lay eggs she, she eats her egg shells she eats the eggs that was two or three months ago and also the owner fed some live fishes about uh, two months ago and these fishes could have impacted or poisoned her so she was actually not eating or lost appetite for for at least one or two months and not so active but now you can see she's quite active now we will we will test her with the food and uh, one one piece or two pieces will do of the pellets she's been fed the neutra neutrophin pellets wait 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 we put the slanting first eh? slanting again no no put the, the uh, slanting now you can see we did used to like to eat pellets but it, now it doesn't eat Okay, so now we just test her with two or three pieces and uh, so far she has not eaten any so this shows she has no appetite still no appetite Okay, the pellet is right next to her her nose there, yeah, there's a pellet there no appetite at all no appetite at all for the last 8 days we have been syringe feeding the pellets plus critical care plus vitamins and uh, antibiotics were given as well okay now we put her on the floor here and see whether she's active or not put here is she active? so the owner will want her to be put here for another one week he's very concerned that this uh, 19 year old has lost appetite. Now you can see actually she's quite alert huh? compared to the first day she came in. You, the, there was a video on the first day. Now at least you can see she's really uh, moving. Huh? Okay, turn upside down and see. We put her upside down and see whether she near the sun, near the sun. Whether she would turn upright or not. Normally, healthy ones, active ones, they will, they will turn upright within about one minute or less. They, they know how to turn upright. 
but this one looks too weak. Now the side is not really bloated, huh? although I would say it's loose skin. Is she turning? Maybe. Once they can turn, uh, you can see uh, the turning upright. When they turn upright, this shows that they are active and back to normal health. Yeah. Still not turning. It's about a minute already. Okay, let's see. Turning. Is it one minute? Well, at least now she tries to turn. The last few days she didn't even turn. Wait, wait. Last few days she didn't even try to turn. And uh, so there is a there there is a recovery, recovery to better health. Now, point at the swelling. This is where the owners complain the bloat, the swelling net, the bloat. This is where the owners complain. Yeah, this one and this one. Yeah, these two areas shouldn't be bulging out. Okay, turn, turn back to upright again. So she's not fully recovered. So we will still continue syringe feeding and uh, let her let her pass the stools there. Eh? Okay, put it down back back again to the sun. Yeah. We we put on the sunlight for one to two hours a day. Normally about 10 to 12 yeah. to, to let her get the vitamins from vitamin D Okay And uh, So this is day 8 of inpatient There is progress but The appetite has not returned at all So we continue strange feeding And the mixture she passes motion again See the stool again The stool is not much actually uh, It's quite thick It's quite hard as well huh? So, constipation is a possibility in uh, this red ear slider. And there's only one small piece after eight days. We will, we will give oil again to move the stools. Uh, 